Hi, my name is Mike Rosica, solidira.com. What I'd like to discuss in this video is the actual mechanics of starting your retirement account. <clears throat> this is where most people <laughs> are all motivated. And then it comes to the actual implementation of something and they, they start with great intentions, but they don't impl implement. And that's sad. There, when, there's, when there's no one there behind you to push you along, um, it's, it's almost like being self-employed. Uh, it's very easy to get into a, 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 a put it off until tomorrow mode, <laughs> uh, myself included, totally guilty of that. With starting a self-directed IRA, it requires discipline. It requires you to take the initiative on your own. And sometimes that's hard to do. Uh, we're not used to getting out of our comfort zone, maybe. Uh, not, not used to actually um, giving ourselves commands and orders to get things done. And that's where this group comes in, so solid IRA, where you can discuss this in the community. You can grab someone aside and say, hey, listen, I saw that you did this six months ago. How'd you do it? How did it go? Was it hard? What do I have to do? Who do I talk to? Uh, we want to be there and give you the tools necessary for you to actually implement uh, getting things done is the hardest part in, in any endeavor. There are so many people with great intentions on if I only would have should have, and all of a sudden they're 65 years old and they were so close to starting their retirement fund so many different times. Uh, I found that the, the best way to get things done is to be surrounded with people that are already have already done it or are very motivated to get things done. That motivation rubs off. And uh, so let's dive in. Let's talk about how this process starts. So on the website, you will find different custodians that we have vetted out over the years. Um, I primarily have one custodian in mind, uh, but I'd like to give you a selection just because I think it's uh, the fair thing to do. I can show you which one I actually endorse the most. I can show you what some of our clients have endorsed uh, and have had great results. I've actually sold assets to people with other custodians and the transactions were fairly um, smooth. And so that's the whole idea of why one custodian over another. Uh, some custodians are very uh, in tune with the types of investments that we're making and some not so much. Uh, some of them actually resist the types of investments we make, not because they're, um, illegal or anything uh, that is not above board. It's because they just are very unsophisticated uh, people that uh, are trained to do one thing and one thing only. And anything slightly outside of their normal little box that they live in, uh, they shoot it down. And so the idea is to pick a custodian that is aggressive but yet honest, fair. Uh, I've not found a custodian yet that is not honest and fair, but I have found custodians that shy away from certain types of investments because they don't understand them. And that's fine. Uh, so find that list, get in touch with them. Don't get too hung up on the fee structures. Fees are fees. Things are going to cost you money. Uh, yes, it, it seems like it's expensive, but we're talking about your retirement account here. We're not talking about 
a savings account where you're going to get five grand in there. We're talking about long-term structural company that is actually going to be a big part, if not all of your retirement assets. Uh, finding a custodian that has a good fee structure, but they are willing to work with you on what I would call complex transactions. Uh, we'll get into that more uh, in detail, but uh, just to give you an overview, I like to invest my IRA funds into what's called a trust, an irrevocable trust, which gives me checkbook control. And I do not sign the checks. And with an LLC, checkbook control, I sign the checks. I, my name, I do not want to have any signatures to do with my subdirected IRA. I want a complete arm's length transaction. So I use a trust and a trust uses a trustee and it's not me and it's not one of my family members. It's someone outside of my family and they are total arm's length transaction it's the most bulletproof and there are no LLC fees annual. And I am not listed as the president of the LLC because there is no LLC. Uh, with the trust, I am just the beneficiary, but that is not public knowledge anywhere. Uh, just my trustee is listed. Uh, fantastic way of anonymity and saving money with the LLC. Some people are so hung up on saving money, choosing their custodians, but they totally overlook this LLC issue. And, uh, and it is huge. So reviewing, finding custodians, reviewing, you may want to call them up and inter interview them. They'd be happy to talk with you, show you why they should be chosen over another custodian. Uh, I enjoy the process because I can put one against another and say, hey, listen, I just got off the phone with uh, XYZ and they said that they would uh, waive my first year's fees, let's say. Oh, we can do that. Really? So you'll waive my first year's fees just because I mentioned it. These people are flexible. These people want your business. Uh, they're looking long-term at you growing your LLC, especially if you mention to them that you're using solid IRA as the basis for your investments, they'll know that you're serious. They'll know that you are taking this to the next level instead of just buying a couple of mutual funds and hoping and praying that they go up. Uh, they know that you're going to be an aggressive real estate investor and they want your money and they want your business because they get a percentage of that interest when that money goes into some type of a lousy interest bearing account. So selecting a custodian is fun. I pit them one against another. I ask them as you get more sophisticated, Hey, it's no big deal. If you switch from one custodian to another, uh, I've done it. It's a little bit painful, but as your needs grow, as your intellect grows, your um, sophistication grows with these investments as you get more and more sophisticated, uh, your needs will change and you'll realize that you may outgrow your custodian. Uh, I've gotten to the point now where the custodian that I'm working with, I've actually created uh, an investment structure and they've ran it through their legal team and they've actually created a actual um, direction of investment because of me. Uh, pretty proud of that. Uh, it's a sophisticated structure uh, using a trust and they've never had that before until I came along. I proved to them that, hey, this is a bulletproof thing that everyone should have. And so they added it to their repertoire of types of investments that they can make. You can see it right on the website. And uh, I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, great group of people. 
Uh, they are very willing to accommodate me because they know that I deal with a lot of clients, uh, a lot of people like you that are looking for custodians. And so they're going to cater to me and my clientele because I'm not just a one and done type of uh, outfit. So again, thanks for taking a look at solidira.com. Uh, hit the like button on this video, share this video out with family members that maybe are not focused on their self direct on their retirement account, which leads to a self-directed IRA. Uh, it is one of the biggest tax benefits that the government allows us. Uh, and it is the underutilized, most underutilized account, in my opinion, uh, three or 4% of the population actually use this type of investing vehicle. And it's the most lucrative and it's the, it's the one that the government really doesn't like because they lose some tax benefits. Um, so the government's not out there pushing it. Wall Street's not out there pushing it because they haven't figured out how to make money off of it. Uh, but I'm out there pushing it. And my job is to help a million people retire comfortably, maybe more comfortably than the money uh, as they work, make, have more money per month than during their salaried years. Uh, if you're making 9,000 a month, I'd like to see you retire on 15,000 a month or 18,000 a month, double it up. Uh, again, so thanks for checking out Solid IRA, share this material and we'll catch you on the next video.